Welcome to the Criaza Movie Editor tutorial. Here we're going to take a closer look at some of the basic features in Movie Editor. As you can see, the screen is divided into three sections. The library, where you can find all the built-in content, as well as your own media files, the preview window, and the timeline, which contains several layers. To add movie clips to the timeline, just click and drag on the clip and put it on the video layer. Once you have the clip on the timeline, you can trim it by changing the duration, either by setting the in and out point or by using the handles on the selected clip. To split a clip in two, you can use the split button. This makes it possible to drag a new clip in between. I want to cross cut my movie by using one clip of the zebras and several of the cheetah. The entire time I can see what I am doing in the preview window. This makes it easier for me to know where to cut the clip. When I need more space on the timeline, I can use the zoom feature in the bottom right corner. This doesn't make the movie shorter, just less detailed on the timeline. Now that I have all the video I need for my movie, let's add some music. First I'm selecting the Sounds tab. I can click through the categories or just type in a word in the search box. I type Tension, find the clip, Tension Builder, and drag it down onto the timeline. From the drop-down menu, I choose Contentum to find some background sounds and I start to type Insect until the Insect clip appears. I now have a movie with both music and background sounds. Let's add a title at the beginning of the movie. I choose the Graphics tab, and I drag the graphic I want down onto one of the graphics layers of the timeline, where I can trim it like all the other clips. In the Preview window, I can change the text. I want the movie to be called Cheetah vs. Zebra. All of the clips on the graphics layers have small black dots in the corners. These dots are used to adjust the strength of the clip. I want this one to fade out. Next I want to record some audio. I want the cheetah to roar, so I place the marker where I want the recording to be placed, and then hit the audio button. I hit the record button and roar into the microphone. When I press stop, store, and close, I can see the recording on the timeline where the marker is, and I can also find it in my media files for later use. Now I'd like to show what the frightened zebras might be thinking. I do this by adding a thought bubble from the graphics tab and drag it down onto the timeline. When placing the marker on the timeline, I can see all of the layers at the same time in the preview window. This makes it easier to adjust the graphic elements to fit the video. As I believe that zebras don't think in words, I remove the text. When selecting the graphic clip again, I make it possible to edit it further. I want to add video in the thought bubble. I click the video tab and find an appropriate video clip. I drag the clip into the preview window and make it fit the thought bubble. To scale the object proportionally, hold down the shift key while scaling. I want to make the zebra's thoughts a bit transparent. I do this by adjusting the dots. Under the Transitions tab, you will find categories of transitions. To add transitions to a movie, just grab the transitions you'd like and place them in between the video clips. At the end of the movie, I want it to fade to black, so I will add a loopable background at the end of the movie, and then the transition crossfade. I would also like to add a title at the end. I click Graphics and choose Text. Once added, I can change the text in the preview window.
To change font, size, and color, I click the T that appeared under the preview window. I adjust the dots to make the text fade in. Then I trim the clips to end at the same time. As you can see, the audio clips also have dots. I adjust them to fade out the sound. Remember to save often. I'll save this by clicking the Save button and give it a title. Now let's take a look at the finished movie. Good luck and happy movie making.